Hey and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4, picking up where we left off last episode. Hopefully the volume's a little bit better for a start. Um, now, shout out to Ghost LPs for stating the patently bloody obvious. Why not try saving with my console? So as soon as we get into the game, we're going to give that a shot. And if it does, then hell yeah. Um, so I suppose then comes the time for a poll. What do people think about me using the console to save, thereby pretty much thumbing my nose at the biggest teeth that survival mode really presented? Um, I'm all for it, but I kind of have an interest in, in, in that one. Um, I'll throw it out there and I will abide by the prevailing opinion from time to time. So if people say now don't use it, but then later on someone takes sympathy on me sucking as hardcore as I'm sure I will, then then they might let me use it. So we'll just see how we go. But for now, let's give it a shot. Oh, there, there we go. The console is disabled. Damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Those wacky devs, they just saw through me. Oh, dear. Anyway, this episode, we're going to go kill some mole rats. Also, this episode, we're going to find said mole rats. That's usually a good start. I remember it being around here. There's a little polluted cave. Yeah, here we are. Now, it seems wasteful using my gun down here. But, what are you going to do? Got some loot. Some healing shrooms. Brain fungus. And a mole rat den. And as if this game couldn't be any more Skyrim. Now, sneaking. Now, is my running toggle? I don't know how to untoggle it. I'm also not going to go experimenting with keys too enthusiastically after I wasted those stim packs last episode. I'm still butthurt about that. I see you. Where are the others? Oh, right there. Well, was right there. The gunplay in this, especially with this 10 mil, is really satisfying. Now there is a big mama mole rat in here too. Let's see if we can find her in a manner that leaves us still alive. Because, oh yeah, I can't quick save. Unless I can. They haven't just disabled it and said no. Damn. Unless they haven't just said they've disabled it and not disabled it because tra -la lol hey, Wouldn't it be hilarious if for April Fool's they wiped everyone's saves? Just saying. And no, that would not be funny. Bethesda, do not do it. I know you're thinking about it. Now we've got junk. Piles and piles of junk. Oh, a wrench. That also counts as junk, but it's a different kind of junk, so that makes it okay. Uh, canned dog food. Molotovs. I do like them. They're probably my, my favourite explosive in this game. Oh, and of course, I start recording and I've got the tickle at the back of my throat that says, You need to cough. Oh, we're just going to grin and bear it. A handful of rads aren't going to kill us. Whoa. Ah, uh, Trash Busters Award. Fair enough. I don't know what else there is back here. Yo, but... how you doing, buddy? Oh, piss off, dog. I have no idea what I just told him to do, but I hope it was eat shit and die. I really don't like followers in this game. Probably be more concerned about what I'm walking into than what loot there is here. There we go. Oh, and you saw that, uh, I'll call it the double tap at the very end of that. Yeah, that was unintentional. My mouse is still on its way out. And I'm cheap, and replacing a $15 mouse is a big thing for me. Because I have bought a couple of almost equally cheap mice lately and they both sucked terribly so yeah oh no <laughs> pardon me oh no I'll have to I'll have to live with X you know spending the ammo 
Now we got a safe. Hmm. Oh yeah, A. Oh boy. That's right, we leveled. Uh, where's my take it all button? There it is. Right, now. Level up. Leveling in this game is different. As I said last episode, you can add you can you basically get a point every level and you can either stick it into one of your special stats, thereby increasing them up to a maximum of ten, or depending on what you've unlocked down here in the skill tree, you can spend it on a skill. Sorry, on a perk. And some of these perks have multiple ranks, such as Concentrated Fire. Now, a lot of them are, are the same names as as Fallout 3, but they do different things. For example, Grim Reaper's Sprint has never been as cool as it was in Fallout 3, unfortunately. In fact, this is probably the worst of the Grim Reaper's Sprints. I think, I think they realized how overpowered it was. It was basically the stone skin of Fallout 3. So you had that, and once you had a good enough weapon, you could pretty much just vats one shot your way through the game. That is, alas, not the case here. Now, this is a perk I usually get, but I don't have three charisma. Wow, I'm ugly. Uh, what do I want? Um, I do like bloody mess. I am thinking... Prove it, I know. I don't know what to put it in. Pickpocket is usually in no. Awareness. Not really bothered by that. Gun mods are important. But I think a rank in each of these is probably more important at the very outset. 10% damage on pistols. Sneaking. Locksmith. Well, that's always a good one. Um... You know what, we're going to throw it on Locksmith, because I hate going back for things, but then the next two are going there. Now, as I understand it, there is no level cap in this game, so I can just keep taking, you know, keep leveling these things until I've maxed everything out. Water. Oh, dirty water. Oh, well, it's still water. Yeah, the dog's judging me. Screw you, dog. And no, you can't kill the dog. I'm pretty sure it's the first thing everybody tried when they first fired this game up was you know, empty a clip into the dog's head again and again and again. And all it does is look at you sad. It doesn't even seem to hold it against you that you're trying to kill it. It's just like, oh, well, what do you do? Ah, oh, night time. We're going to get used to this. Now, just down here is Concord. We don't necessarily want Concord yet. We actually want to go and exploit the save station. I mean, bed. What was that? Plastic plate. We do want that. I can't remember why we want that. Actually, no, I think I'm confusing it with a speed run where they use it to make a um, uh, jet for a, a skipping for, for the mad speed run strats that we are having none of. Yep, one hour will do. Yeah, and we've saved. And naturally, we are tired and parched. Um, well, let's not jump around there. So, water. Inventory, aid, uh, dirty water, rad 7, holy shit. I am properly hydrated. I am a plant. don't know why I'm sneaking here. There's nothing here to hurt me. Well, not in this particular building anyway. Um. Oi! Dog. Oh, quantum. You know what? Where are you, dog? You come here. Hey, over here. Uh. How are you doing, buddy? Go on. Wait for me at home. Uh, sanctuary. Don't you give me that look. You piss off home. There. Now we can stop cramping my style. 
I don't know if it is just me, but I've always felt that sneaking with a follower just really broke the atmosphere. And um, Forks is a good example of that. You're trying to sneak through a base, and Forks is just there, this enormous yellow friggin' you know, super mutant. And somehow you're not being seen. It just makes zero sense. Oh, what has he found? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I have a feeling we're about to have our first death. Screw you, blood bug. <laughs> I just got the dog. Oh dear. Oh well. They can do their thing. Hey, that point in lockpicking has already paid off. Lockpicking really is the gift that keeps on giving. What have we got? Another 10 mil pistol. Just take all of that. I keep reaching for my quick save. Well, not reaching, but I keep thinking to reach for my quick save and then having to correct myself. Oh, it's a mattress, actually. Oh, duh. Now the last thing I want is poison. I treat these blood bugs like cazadors. I think my dog's given up on me. I think I should also man up and just go and shoot it. Or not. It seems to have disappeared. And we can sleep for an hour. Alright, so... Well, according to that, it's still there. I'm just going to have a sip of my coffee and see what happens. Oh, whatever's happening, it's doing it now. Oh, well, we'll just kind of move on. Yeah, episode length, I haven't actually rendered anything yet. Oh, we've discovered Concord. I haven't rendered anything yet, so I don't know how long episodes need to be. So I'm going to record for half an hour and hopefully I won't have to break it up into chunks. If I do, well, lesson learned and I apologize for having two 15 minute chunks. Um, I might break it up into you know, set chapters like, you know, we bravely kill the... Ha! Awesome shot. We bravely kill the, you know, the mole rats and we bravely cower inside the house away from the mosquitoes. And we bravely sneak along the streets, picking the safes. I'll probably also invest in a thesaurus before I actually uh, commit myself to titles. What else do we have? We've got streets, lots of streets. Oh, uh, we've got signs. This place looks really cool at night when it rains. And again, my complaint in this, just like in Minecraft, just like in any game with weather, is that weather is not common enough. But I don't think we can actually affect the weather. If we can and people are okay with it, let me know because I'd love to set it to raining like most of the time. By most I mean all because I love rainy weather. Stimpack, switchblade, oh, some armor. We'll get ourselves inside. We do not have time this episode to deal with those guys and given survival mode, I'm actually really afraid of going near that right away. I'd rather be like level 8 or 9 before I do that. More stuff. Probably not 8 or 9, but you know what I mean. I'd rather be... Mark's really strong. No, I'm just... just a wuss. No way I could pick this. So what is it? Expert. So we've got two more? I think one or two more levels in lockpick before we can get that. What was that? I'm just, I'm sure I saw a, a grenade icon. Now, that is the, not the railroad, the Minutemen. Arguably the single most irritating questline in the game. So, I'm, as I said, I'm not rushing to their aid. What I'm going to do, though, is check my inventory. Apparel. Oh, my God, can we not zoom in? Let's see, we've got a clean striped suit we don't care about. Ah, oh, leather arm. Now, armor works a bit differently in this game. You can have one big overall suit, like the greaser jacket. 
or you can wear something something lighter underneath like the vault jumpsuit uh, or the sequin dress because we like to look pretty um, and over the top of that you can put a sackwood with straps because reasons I'm sure can we look around yeah we look totally not stabby I actually think I saw something that looked very similar in the um, the towers in Act 3 in Diablo 3 it just yeah we're not going to go through this looking like Leela. Well, like gangster Leela. We're going to go with Raider Leathers. What do they resemble? Uh, actually, no, the damage resistance on our Vault Jump suits better. Plus the Leather. Last time I played this, I did do the piecemeal armor. Until I found the Mark 9 or something, Mark 5. Railroad armor, which weighed almost as much as I could carry, but it was completely worth it. Close the vending machine. Lock and load. Two hundred and four. Yay! A level. What did he drop? A pull Q? A chest piece! We'll grab that. Oh, and of course now we're over encumbered. Uh, yep, we shall wear you. Okay, well now the time has come to decide what we need to start dropping. Um, based on value. I wish you could organize them by worth. The bowler hat, I'm sorry to say. Can we wear it? Okay, we can wear it. And the eyeglass. Well then, we're going to keep them because bonuses. Let's see. Junk. Junk is usually the first thing to go. Um, I'm looking at value, not weight. I need to be looking at weight. Now the wrench really isn't at the top of the things that we need. Oh my god. So we can get rid of that. Ball peen hammer is gone. Cigarette carton obviously produces a lot of things. The coffee cups, not so. And well, there are a dime a dozen. Combination wrench for a couple of points of steel. We'll hang on to it if we can justify it. Empty milk bottle. I'm going to drop. That brings us down to an acceptable limit. Bone we don't really need. So until we pick something else up, we're not looking too bad. Um, but we're going to inspect this building and then make our way back to Sanctuary and offload what we've got. And as I said last episode, there is going to be a stupid amount of loot hoarding in this game. I make no apologies for this. This is a survival game, it's a role-playing game, and damn it, it's a Bethesda game. There is going to be a lot of bullshit inventory management. Get used to it now. If it offends you, and you like to see a game played really quickly with no crap, no intermission, there's a Day of the Tentacle Let's Play. Or if you like to see a game with plenty of intermission that still gets, you know, still has a pace, um, but there's also lots of bullshit management, but the Let's Player is pretty much having a go at it the whole time. Ah, uh, check out Tabletop Tits playing Reseteer. I figure the more more, more viewers more, the more viewers we get on there, the more likely it is that she'll pick that one up. Um, I don't want to get too close to any of that because then you get dragged in. Now there is a underground bit around here. Buff out Wonder Glue, because adhesive, we don't care about a paintbrush. Here we go. Concord Civic Access. Oh, let's have a quick look. If this is, depending on what this is, we may or may not do it right away. We've only got 10 minutes and a pretty full inventory. Okay, I remember this. It's just full of mole rats. Uh, we're not going to drink that. We are sufficiently irradiated for my liking. Potato crisps. Or is it ghouls in here? It might be ghouls. Rad roaches? Oh! Shit, no. No, no, no. Just no. No, I'll come back here when I've got the exploding pellet shotgun. 
I miss that. Oh, right away. And a tato. And of course, the tato is what encumbers us. Fine. What are we carrying? What are we carrying? What's that ammo? How much does that weigh? 10 mil rounds. Okay, that's not huge. Wow, fusion cores suck. Um, you will know, obviously have to offload some of that when we get home, but we are not dumping ammo. Oh, we're going to drop the plastic plate because I never use jet anyway. What else? Nothing else there. We're going to keep the wrenches for the moment. Um... Oh, well, nothing saw us. I keep reaching for my enter key because I'm an idiot. I really need to just sit down. I keep saying this. I need to sit down and remap my keys for this and Oblivion to ensure consistency. Alright, so we're heading back this way. And I don't expect to find anything else. We've killed the giant mosquitoes, and if memory serves, that was the only real ambush we had to be worried about in that house. And stupid me forgot about it as we walked in. But I'm sure Muttley is back home now. That's not him, is it? No, that's a Brahmin. Brahmin meat! Nothing over there. We've leveled up. Oh yeah, we've leveled up. What have we got this time? What was I going to do? Scrounger or Fortune Finder? I think early on Scrounger is probably going to be the better way to go. Just the one rank. I don't go crazy about it. Um, as you can see, you don't really know how many more you find. But I do like the sound of that one. That combined with Bloody Mess would probably be a really awesome combination. Oh my god, oh my god. There we are. So, hey, if we end up with a spare skill point down the line, then we'll do that. I'm not sure I'm going to waste or expend the skill points in the whole micromanaging my, my settlement thing. I don't know. It just seems not an acceptable use of skill points. And I'm encumbered again because reasons. Ugh. No, this is not acceptable. What can we do? How far? We're one over. Well then, screwdriver's gone. And we can run again. So it's disappointing that the console was disabled. Really good thinking though, Ghost LPs. Um, I'm just embarrassed that I didn't think of that myself. But alas, no. What's that? Oh, a wrench. Don't care. Now, oh, I think we do have to do the Minutemen quest before we can embark upon um, uh, bettering our town. So we've got plenty of food. That was something I found in my pl last playthrough was I wasn't really short of food. I, I limited what I carried, but it was it was really good for healing, but I never found myself short of it. Even when I was using it in lieu of stim packs. Where is... it's up here. I remember in my, in my playthrough I built something there, I built a two-story house there. I might just lair in this one though, this time. Uh, workshop, no, we don't want the workshop, we want to transfer stuff. Miscellaneous. There we are, junk. We're just going to put it all in. How much do the packs of smokes weigh? Point 0.1. No, we'll put them in there. There we are. Okay, hold page down to open the workshop menu. There we go. Oh, we could do it. 
So basically the way this works is you do that and now the resources are part of our inventory in there. We have scrap for steel, for rubber, for rubber, for steel. You get the idea. And apparently I am hungry. One other thing that occurs to me as being a really good idea here actually is a water pump. Let's see, can we build a water pump just yet? Ah, uh, resources, water, water pump, we need concrete. Well, rest assured we'll get some concrete. How about from here? Yep, there we are, there's a sufficient amount of concrete. And a water pump. So I'm just going to try and place that here. Now, can I walk around in this mode? No. Because of the key bindings I've used, I can't move around in this mode. And that is going to get tedious for all concerned. Now, can we use this? That's all we can do. We can't fill our bottles with it. Oh. Okay, we can drink from it, though, and not die from radiation poisoning. That makes me happy. Pardon me, so I just have some of my own coffee. Okay, well I'm not unhappy with that. Now we're going to head across to our house. Such as it is, and we're going to put a proper bed in here. Uh, nope, we don't want that. We want to scrap you. And we want a bed. Furniture, bed. Proper bed. Something clean. We're not paupers. And we we'll just bring it towards us. That looks good enough. That's not a bad job actually for the angle we were on. Sleep for an hour. You know what? We're going to get a, a proper sleep. Six hours. Let's see if we stop being to butt watch we'll be starving to death after this we are rested but we are parched and we are hungry well we can go and quench our thirst across the street here but we'll do so after we've eaten and i can't believe that eating food is going to be a big feature of this let's play oh let's see be careful what we wish for uh, ribeye steak. No hit point value anymore, I notice. Now the potato we're going to keep, we're going to plant that. Thistle, I am assuming we don't want to bother with. Where are we? Mutt chops. We are properly fed. And we shall drink. And the last 10 minutes of inventory management pretty much... Oh wow, our... our Oh, that was a penalty we had from being hungry and thirsty. Ah, very cool. Alright, well, with that we're going to go and nap and save our game again. So it's going to get a little tedious, the perpetually being hungry and thirsty because of saving for the sake of, you know, being able to stop the Let's Play here. Um, but we're going to stop it here. Next episode we're actually going to go on an adventure and find... Oh, radio stations have a broadcast range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually want to find... A, it's a shop, and I think it's about there. I'm going to put it there. I think it's about there, anyway. And once we find that, there's a vendor walking around named Carla. And we can get... Once we find her, she comes back here, and we finally have somewhere to sell our crap without hauling ass across the place. Um... But there is also a, a shop out that way too. Uh, so that's our job for next episode. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We killed some things, we found some things, and we bravely cowered like the, you know, the brave cowering thing that we are. Until next episode, cheers.